I hate my baby. That is what one of the girls came to me, women, 30 year old, with a baby, said to me the other day, can I help her? I said, you know what, this, this is a tough call. So I said, why don't you write down what is going on for you and why you hate your baby and then how you're feeling about it. So she furiously wrote for about oh, 10, 15 minutes. Oh, you know, she's, her body's changed shape. She's lost her freedom. She doesn't get enough sleep. She's tired, she's cranky, blah, blah, blah. And, and so the list of things went on. And what was fantastic, actually, was that this poor girl who probably was suffering from a little bit of postnatal depression but hadn't been properly diagnosed, was trying to cope and she was feeling really overwhelmed. But what was great is that when she started to write down and release, she was feeling calmer. And she started to, you know, when she first started writing, her hands were trembling. She was so angry. She was so full of resentment. And by the end, by the time she'd, she'd written was 15 minutes, 15 minutes, she felt a lot calmer. And she started to feel better in her own skin. And then I said to her, listen, why don't we try the next exercise, which is what you're learning about your baby. What challenges are you getting? And what are you feeling good about? And then the pen went off again, furiously writing. And it was very interesting because she was doing something that she hadn't been trained for. You know, her mother wasn't a baby person. The mother really didn't want it much to do with, with the baby, uh, her mother. And she was feeling like she actually was getting on top of the whole baby thing. And it wasn't as dramatic as, as the original um, feelings that she had for this child. And after a while, she started to realize and get the insights that what she actually needed was a bit more help. So she could have a little bit of time out from the baby because her biggest thing she kept coming back to was feeling trapped. And, you know, when she got to that insight, she really was a changed person. When she, when she left the, the, the interview, she was quite a changed person. So anyway, she came back about three weeks later. I said, well, how are you going, you know, with little Johnny and everything. And she said, and she was a different girl. She really looked a whole lot better because she got somebody on to mind the child while she actually caught up and had an afternoon nap. And that's what she needed. She needed to have that little bit of extra sleep so she could feel human and she could cope with these, the interrupted sleep at night. And she felt that she could take the baby to the supermarket and she felt she could take the baby out wherever she was going. And she didn't feel as trapped by the baby. And, you know, she got all that from just journal writing. She got all that from understanding that this whole situation doesn't need to be permanent. She just needed to change her, a little bit of mindset, not much, and she just needed to get an inspiration, an idea, an insight as to what she needed to cope with this massive change to her life. So look, I hope this helps any of you poor girls that are feeling like you hate your babies because you know, you don't have to hate them, that there is an answer. And try the journal writing first. If you're still feeling uh, resentful, depressed, whatever, you may need help. You probably do need some help and you really should get some outside counselling. So look, I hope that's helped you all and I hope we have a whole lot of more happy mothers. I'm Fiona Wilson. Thanks for listening to me. Bye now.